Peace and high frequencies. Um, yesterday my phone cut out. The temperature on my phone got way too hot. And so that's why I wasn't able to finish the video. Um, but <clears throat> I'm gonna go. My voice is leaving me. What's going on? But I'm gonna go over the dream a little bit on what I recall that stood out to me the most. Why is my shirt, y'all? It fixed myself up for the day. <laughs> it's crazy. What's going on here? What's going on? Um, so, um, in the dream, I was going to, or I was, I'm going to go back. I was visiting um, this family that I knew. And this was a white family that I knew in this neighborhood. And... I don't know why, like I knew how to get there, but I was leaving their home and they were kind of like friends of mine. She was telling me how to get out and which way not to go. She was like, don't go over that way because we don't have a partnership with that family, but you can go right on devil's path and then you can turn a left, like hook a quick left to get away from that neighborhood and go down Hound's Path. I don't know what these mean. And I was like, okay, that's kind of, that's the same way that I came in. And she was like, yes. Like, the path that I came in was the same pathway to go out. And um, I leave. I'm headed out. As I'm going, and of course, this was kind of like almost like just a third eye view of floating, moving through this space. Um, it turns from a neighborhood to like a mall or, or a shopping plaza. And I'm just like, okay, this is a shopping plaza. So I'm cutting through the shopping plaza. Um, I see this um, area where she was talking about where it separated the houses from the shopping mall and I curved that left. And now at this point, I'm meeting up with a friend. Like, she is meeting me there. She's already there. And I go through this, like, uh, foyer area. And then I keep straight. And then I'm inside of the shopping mall. Now, while I'm walking in the shopping mall, I receive these messages. It was like this clear moment, intuitive guidance. <clears throat> when I say clear, C-L-A-I-R. And I'm receiving this information. So in the Claire moment, um, I was told that them building on this land, building this shopping mall in the middle of this neighborhood, this white neighborhood, the shopping mall actually paid these people a large lump sum of money. And they're still continually to get paid off of this shopping mall. Um... And I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, in my mind, I was like, damn, they getting paid. She didn't even tell me that they getting paid off this shopping mall. And we're supposed to be friends, but she didn't tell me. And so, um, I go through the mall. I'm looking at this bag, this uh, luggage bag, and I love it. And then my friend pops up. So, I, I have to tell her. I was like, did you know that these people over here are getting paid off of this mall? Like, they're literally getting money for um, this shopping mall being here, for them actually living in an area that they wanted to put a shopping mall. And so um, she was like, no, I didn't know that. And I was like, well, when they come into our neighborhoods and the black neighborhoods, they don't pay us anything. They just come in, take over, and the mall is there, and they don't pay the people no residual type of income off of any type of corporation business so a mall being there and I said this reminds me of how the FHA um, were told not to sell homes to black people like all of this was like playing out of my dream and I got upset and I was like okay we got to do something about this and then I wake up um so <laughs> yeah it's crazy um but what I'm feeling, what I'm gathering from, from this dream is that there are situations um, that are occurring 
in this 3D life that we are in here right now, not in a dream space, that other races know about that we don't know about, that we probably will never know about that they're doing. And I do believe a lot of the things that they have been doing, those who are racist and those who claim they're not racist, but they still know of these practices, which to me makes them part of the same crew, is coming out. <clears throat> um, the time is up. Um, is there's, there's going to be whistleblowers. There's going to be people who are going to find out. Um, there are going to be people who are not racist, who wants this information to be out so we can know what's been going on and that we can get compensated for the lack of sharing this information. And so I was having this conversation with a friend yesterday about <clears throat> those profiting off of the ignorance of others. And in this instance, um, with this dream, and I, I'm kind of thinking about that, but the difference in this dream is the fact that we're not, they aren't capitalizing off the ignorance. They're capitali capitalizing off the fact that they have implemented these particular laws or they haven't disclosed this information to us where we know of various racial groups um, that we know of, that we all know of, that runs this country, that haven't disclosed to people that look like me um, what they're doing. So it's not the fact that we know and we're ignoring it. It's not the ignorance. It's the fact that we have no knowledge of it and they are doing this and they are doing a lot of things. So. Um, the two dreams that I had this week, I feel like are um, the one that I told you all that were about the zombie and me hopping from one location to another and that energy was trying to follow me and attack me. I sat with it <clears throat> and I really feel that that is the energy of that class and group of individuals who are not trying to release the reins of the power that they hold in this reality and they want to keep us blind so they're trying to attach back they're trying to get attached back to us and they cannot you cannot touch us you cannot catch us it's too late we are up we are woke we are moving <clears throat> we are changing um this system we're doing our mission what we were here to do and a lot of us came here to change um, the energy here on this planet, you know, basically that's a mission for a lot of us here who are, you know, star seeds, um, children who are of light, and we are here to change that thought process and to release that control of these uh, lower energy beings. Some, um, you know, a lot of people have different names from them for them. You know, I haven't went too, de too deep into greys and reptilians and shapeshifters because I've seen some shapeshifters in my dreams. I've even seen shapeshifters in this reality. Um, I'm not quite sure if all of them are malevolent or benevolent. Uh, malevolent. I always miss that word up, y'all. Uh, good or bad. I like using benevolent and malevolent, but I can't ever say the benevolent right. <laughs> Uh, because to me that gives me that that explains the energies more than just good or bad because it's not just good or bad it's a little bit deeper than just being good or bad there's other things that they are doing and so um, yeah we are here to raise up the frequency raise up the energy as we raise up our energy we are raising up um, five six seven hundred people um, around us that frequency is rising so the more work we do the more work we'll see is shift and change in this realm y'all we're gonna see it happen so um yeah that's what i wanted to share about the dream there were some other moving parts um with individuals that i know in this realm but um it really isn't 
something that anybody would benefit from, I don't think, um, sharing here. I'm sorry, y'all, these rows are just, ooh, it's a pothole and a crack and a dip everywhere. But anyway, I don't think it's something that you all would benefit from. So that's why I wanted to share that part because for me, it made me think of the fact that they have laws in place. They have a lot of things in place to continue to have them win. And we don't know what those are, you know, and it can go as grandiose as different things they have in place for this, this nation that they'll win. And it can go as low as different things they have set up for them to get different positions in the corporate market or in, the, in life to different careers. Um, them just um, allowing each other to just receive when they know they're not qualified. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you get this and you're not even qualified for it? Just because you hold the same type of um, skin color as the other person? You know, and so I feel like all of that is getting torn down now and that we are getting ready to become aware that this is going on and all of that is getting ready to be um, totally demolished, just totally demolished, like killing it. Okay, so that's the end of what I wanted to share uh, with you all with this. I'm going to leave you all in peace and hope.